tried really to hate walk up again to the state of the LA New York. Seen the body? <laughs> Fucking case just knocked away from the guts. Hollywood. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up. Turn left here. Oh, like there! Kinda broke the guy's car. But, anyways, uh, this is another part. I apologize for it being so long. It is kind of a long. This is kind of. It is a long level. I didn't know this until I just the started now. Captain is waiting for you downstairs with Anchor. Hey, I don't know if this will be another part or not. You still don't have a hat, bud. You left it at the other house. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have your met Finnis Brown. Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and type from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. soul by virtue of this curse. You guys can read this. I, I can't read. <laughs> That's why we called you in. You think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis, I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Well, upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Song from the Ink Spots. This guy's got a screw. Did you just did you just push him over? This guy must you have just escaped over? from the loony thing. No, I got your hat now. Your hat's mine. Your hat's mine. No, your hat. No, your hat's mine. Go away. Your hat's mine. Your hat's mine. It's mine. Improved your attitude, Angel. What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. So if you didn't kill your wife, who did? You better come up with something, Angel. This doesn't look good. Fuck you. I love my wife. You're good, kid. You murder your wife, and you just sit there as cool as a cucumber. Son of a bitch! Getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. I don't believe you, Angel. That's a lie. She's been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. Where is the divorce papers?
the judge had set a date, you were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size eight. What difference does that make? When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? Do you know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolyta, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the... El Dorado Bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. <laughs> I apologize once again if the uh, sound's a little laggy. There is a little delay. Handbag was left just up there, overlooking the market. Could have come here from the start to save ourselves a day's life. Ah! Oops, sorry. LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night, 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? Oh, there is a leg. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Uh, uh, what about a charm bracelet? No, can't say I noticed that. The Fuck. young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Use the phone for a cab and then left. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. And she seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She had me back until last night. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Uh... Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Thank you. Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Oh. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. <laughs> uh, it just makes it even worse that there's sound lag. I'm gonna have to figure, fix that somehow. Um. Are you working Friday night? We could go out after. Oh yeah, I could get over. 
wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Same shit. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Ooh, I remember, I remember, I remember. Um, clues? Okay, two, five, three. Okay. What do we have here? Uh -oh. dead. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. Must have seen it during the war. This fruit gold punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clip! Now he's running, of course he is. Ah! Car chase! 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 God damn it! Get after him, Cole! Well, what do you think I'm doing, you idiot? Get I'm out trying of to shoot out his tire. Wish me luck. We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, though. He lost when his we had the chance, We didn't know he was our guy. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. It's strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own park. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Hit it! Clean this asshole off the road! Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires! Hit him, Cole! Spin him out! Show me your hands! Sick man, Clem. You need help. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind them that crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I apologize for the lag. I have I'm probably a meeting this it. afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now. Probably not. On your <laughs> way. <laughs> All right. That was. I guess that was it. Um, like if you like the video, subscribe to become part of the tri. You stealing bitch. Part of the Triforce team. Um, comment for future videos you'd like to see, and I'll catch you guys later.
Oh yeah, I forgot I did that. <laughs>